Welcome to my channel. It's lovely to meet you or see you again. My name is Messi Pierre and contrary to popular belief, I am actually a qualified teacher. So I thought today to get us back into school mode because currently in the United Kingdom where I teach, we are currently on school holidays. I'm gonna play back to school. So back to school seems like a really fun game. I just bought it off Steam. So I'll put the description down below if this is something you like. Now I am terrified because it's a trivia game where I have to prove how clever I am. Now I do say as a teacher, we don't know everything. However, I could end my career here. So I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you join in with me. Tell me down below how you did with these questions. I'm gonna say, I am actually terrified because there's some <laughs> topics that I just really, really am not looking forward to answering. So, but let's see how I do. So, let's start a new game and play. First grade. So, I teach older children first grade, so this would be embarrassing if I get any of these wrong. So, let's start with, oh, let's go for, now, I have noticed this is an American game, so there might be a little of a uh, little bit of confusion with some things, but we'll see how we go. Let's start with science, because I am a science geek. Which temperature is the hottest? Hmm. 7 degrees, 34 degrees, 40 degrees, 52 degrees. It should be 52? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when does the sun rise? Where does the sun rise? It rises in, never eat shredded wheat, to the east. The moon is smaller than the Earth. It's true, it is smaller because it's a satellite. What do we use to measure temperature? So, rulers for length, calculator, we use maths, compass is, well, it depends what compass you're talking about. So you could use it to make a circle with maths or you can have north, east, south, west compass, but it's a thermometer. You hear a hiss. Oh, I think a hawk. No, I'm joking, it's a snake. A baby deer is called a fawn, that's true. Which temperature is the coldest? Ah, oh, this is Fahrenheit. But it doesn't matter, it's still on a sliding scale, isn't it? So, 32 degrees. What do we use to measure length? That is a ruler this time. Fire makes and fill in the blanks. So, fire makes light and cold. Fire makes dark and hot. Fire makes hot and cold. Fire makes heat and light. Yeah, so two of the effects of fire is heat and light. How many planets are in our solar system? <sighs> I knew they would... Oh, controversial. Okay. For me, I'm going to say eight, because it's uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Those are the eight official ones. But some people argue that Pluto is a planet. I'm going to go for eight. Yes! A plus! I passed! I passed first grade science. Okay, so. Let's go. I thought I did really well with that. Because I was scared that I was going to fall, fall at the final hurdle. So we go for social studies. I've never... I'm guessing social studies is in the UK we call it PSHE. So um, it's about social sciences and health and education and physical stuff as well. So taking care of your body. So let's see if we can do this one. Before electricity, human used what for light? Well, fire. <laughs> what person rules a kingdom? So a king, a president, a teacher, a dog. It should be C. It should be a teacher. But it's king. Kingdom. A town is larger than a city. False. Being eaten by a dinosaur was a common fear of Stone Age humans. No, trick question because, of course, humans came way after. The United States is a. It's not a city, county, continent, country. I'm going to go for country, of course. Hanukkah is a holiday in which religion? It is a holiday in Judaism. What does present mean? 
things that have happened, things that are about to happen, things that will happen, things are happening right now. So present is what's happening right now. What does past mean? Things that have happened, things that are going to happen, things that will happen, things that are happening right now. So the past is, of course, things that have already happened. On a compass, which direction is opposite of east? So I always remember this by saying, <laughs> never eat shredded wheat. So east and west are opposite each other. So eat and wheat. So Tom wants ice cream, Tom needs ice cream. So he wants the ice cream, he doesn't need it. A plus. I'm too good for first grade. <laughs> Can I go to the other grades? Yeah. No. Oh, what I might do is do all the first grade subjects in this video, and then next grade we'll do second grade. Next video we'll do second grade. The video after that we we'll do third grade, and so on. Okay. So let's go for maths. In the United Kingdom we call it maths or mathematics, but I'll be American and go math. How many cookies did you sell if you sold 330 chocolate cookies and 270 vanilla cookies? So 70 plus 30 is 100, you have 300, 200, 100, 600. Susie needs seven toys. She already has one toy. How many more toys does she need? Okay, seven take away one, six. Are 24, 36, 48, 56, and 10 all even numbers? So yeah, so even numbers just means they can be divided equally into two groups without going into decimals or numbers smaller than one. So 24 is even because it's 12 and 12. Uh, what are the last two numbers? 33, 36, 39, 42, 45 is going up in threes. I feel so clever. <laughs> what month comes next? June, July, August. What three numbers are missing? 109, 108, 107, 106, 105, 104. So let's just make sure I get that right. So 108, 106B. 2 plus 2, takeaway 4 equals... Mm. So 2 plus 2 is 4, takeaway 4 is 0. 10 plus 10 plus 2, 22. Which of the following is to do with addition? Uh, so, take, subtract, and minus is all take away under that bracket of subtraction. Um, total is when you add together, you get a total, so what's the total of this? Which of the following is to do with subtraction? So again, we have adding in total and totaling, which all is adding things together. And take away is you're taking something away. So you're subtracting it. A plus. Okay, one more. One more. And then we can hopefully go into grade two. Okay, so English. Now this is one that I'm slightly scared of because sometimes in English you, um, that there's so much terminology that I sometimes get mixed up. I don't think I should have any trouble here, but when the later grades, the thing is, because like I said, teachers don't know everything, but we always make sure that we, if we're gonna teach it, we know what it is. So let's have a look at English. So what is a synonym? Synonym is same. So that's what I teach my children. It means the sort of same. So it sounds kind of similar to same. So that's how I teach them. So it's words that have the same meaning. So words that mean different things, two words that sound the same. No, so it's words that have the same meaning, B. What is an adjective? So an adjective is a descriptive word. So for example, I'm wearing a black top, orange top, orange sun, that sort of thing. So you're describing something. A. Which letter is a vowel? So your vowels are the long sounds that you make. So A, E, I, O, U. And sometimes Y can fit into that category as well, but it's not actually called a vowel, it's a, a consonant. But in this case, it's gonna be I. What does cats mean? So one cat, to be a cat now, more than one cat to be a cat in the past. So it's plural, see? <laughs> Which letter is not a vowel? So again, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. W is not a vowel. What does present tense mean? So present tense means it's happening now. The ball's something new. 
the balls is new, doesn't make sense because it's plural. The balls isn't new, doesn't make sense. So balls and new doesn't make sense. So it has to be balls are new because you're talking about more than one. So D. The fish was huge. What is a synonym for the word huge? So again, something that means a similar sort of meaning. So in this case, it's not small, crazy or quick. It would be giant. When do we add ED onto the end of a verb? So when you are saying you are doing an action, when you are saying you are about to do an action, to describe an, uh, uh, an object, when you are saying you have done an action. So for example, if we take the word complete, which is a verb, you put ED, completed, you are saying you've done an action. Uh, what is the correct plural word? So we have fox, foxes, fox, foxing or foxes. So it is D. We add the ES plural to that, or the suffix, ES suffix, I should say, to that. A plus. So I think, and I got an achievement, I have successfully passed the first grade. So just in over 10 minutes. I'm great, my final grade is A+. So, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Tell me how you did below. Were you as good as me? Grades aren't everything, remember. And I say that as a teacher. And if you make mistakes, you're learning. That's why I say I'm so cheesy as a teacher. But please feel free to comment. Please subscribe. I'm going to be doing, I guess, four more videos of this. Going through the second grade, third grade, uh, fourth grade, fifth grade. I'm going to link to my Twitch in the description box as well. And I also link to my friend's Twitch because I do a lot of streaming on his channel as well. And that's the feel. Um, I do lots of different content. So I do some story games, I do some Pokemon games. I just do some general games that I think I'm gonna have fun with. So if that's something that you would like to get, uh, something to, you would like to see or get to know me better, please subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. With love from me to you. See you soon.